Uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome you today to the International Online Seminar on the Interval Methods in Control Engineering. And today's speaker will be Dr. Jian Wan, who is a lecturer in mechatronics and robotics with the School of Engineering and Technology at Aston University in Birmingham, UK. And before joining this university, he worked in the School of Engineering, Computer Science and Mathematics of the University of Plymouth as a lecturer in control systems engineering till 2022. And yeah, before that, he obtained his PhD in control. And from this was uh, yes, in 2007 from the Department of Electronics, Computer Science and Automatic Control in Girona in Spain. And now we're looking forward to your presentation on a review of set representation, partition and propagation techniques for set theoretic methods and control. Jian, the floor is yours. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for this invitation and uh, thank you all to come to, for this seminar. So, uh, so today I will just give you a, a brief personal review of the work in this uh, community uh, set based method. So it's maybe not extensive, uh, so a uh, review. Okay, I feel you, you, you sh I, I hope you feel useful. So first I will give some background about uh, uh, this talk. And then I will move to the, uh, like uh, interval uh, analysis in terms of uh, set representation, partition and uh, propagation. Then I will move to uh, solar tube uh, geometry, pony tube geometry. Finally, I will combine all this use uh, a recent work with Professor Luke Gianin uh, about uh, reducing the wrapping effect via uh, uh, Denali triangulation. Uh, so finally, I will give some conclusion and uh, future work. Uh, okay. Uh, can you see my uh, slides perfectly or is okay? Yes, that's perfect, perfectly. Okay, that's great, thanks. Uh, so uh, I started to work in a uh, set uh, theoretical method uh, during my PhD study at the uh, University of Girola, Spain. So uh, at that time I was focused on control, uh, like a model predictive control. So I will use set-based method, like uh, basically it involves many sets and set operations. Uh, we will represent like uncertainty, uh, check the property of a certain domain, like for the stability uh, or all these kind of uh, things. So that is basically set-based method is like that. So we can use different sets like ellipsoid, so you can say you, you can use like a, uh, like a, uh, inequality uh, functions to, to represent the ellipsoid. Uh, the interval is good because uh, the interval have like a, a equation that you can represent a, a, a interval. And what the solar tube is also good uh, because it, it will represent uh, uh, by like equation. Uh, the problem, the, uh, the polytube is, rep, uh, is uh, sorry, the, these slides are just, uh, they, they play automatically, I don't know why. So basically, interval and uh, solar tube are very good in terms of, they use the e equality equation to describe the set. So that's an, uh, easy for uh, representation um, and also uh, uh, propagation. So uh, that's the focus of uh, this set of uh, theoretic method. Uh, so uh, that is the big difference between this uh, ellipsoid and the polytube because they use uh, in, in, um, inequality uh, constraint. So that is not good to, to the propagation. Uh, okay, so that's uh, the set. Uh, recently, there is a paper from uh, the group of Professor Messias uh, from Germany. Uh, 
they give a very good review about this different set. Like uh, intervals is the beginning of the journey. Like uh, we go interval to solar tubes. And then because solar tube is a special pony tube and there are like a solar tube bounders or constraint solar tube. So this are, I will explain that later. And also uh, these are all complex set. Uh, they are also no convex, convex set like uh, from Taylor models to polynomial solar tubes and to constrain the polynomial solar tubes. So these are low con convex uh, set. So basically, uh, I think this paper give a very good review about uh, different sets and uh, what uh, uh, they represent and what's the relationship between different sets. So uh, in this talk, I will review some of them, mainly focus on uh, interval and uh, uh, solar tubes. The reason is that because they, they have a, like a equation definition. So it's uh, very good for propagation set computation. Uh, the other one like ellipsoid or pony tube because of the uh, linear inequality constraints. So it's not uh, like an equation uh, that you can directly put to, to your function. Okay, so this is the background information about uh, a different set we are going to use. Uh, and uh, so uh, we will focus on how to represent the set, uh, how to uh, divide the set, or how to uh, propagate your set, the different type of set. Okay, uh, the interval, I think we are all very familiar. So, uh, so I just put it here like a, like a, uh, uh, like a, a introduction. So we are, we will use the lower bound upper bound to represent a set. And the main issue for interval is the shape is fixed. So it can, is, it can be an interval or a box. So, but the, the representation is good because you use the equation uh, to represent the intervals. And the set partition is also very easy. So we can uh, easily bisect an interval and uh, bisection selection through for the final set computation. So I just uh, uh, borrow an example from uh, Professor Luke Johnny's book that uh, for this uh, uh, control system, you have the transfer function, you have uncertainty parameter uh, like P1, P2. Uh, you get the Rouse table. So if, if there are no sign changes, then, then the system will be stable. So can you, we can easily uh, like a bisect this uh, P1, P2 to find out, to do the set computation, to find out this uh, different error that uh, like this uh, yellow one is uh, stable. This uh, uh, red one is uncertain. So you need to bisect again to get a smaller set. So this is unstable. So that is the, uh, the basic principle for interval analysis like a set representation, a set partition. So this is uh, like uh, the, uh, the original idea that we can borrow uh, from interval analysis to, to solar tubes, to polytubes. Uh, okay, so that is a set partition for interval. Uh, for set propagation for interval, uh, is is can easily uh, implement uh, through the interval arithmetic. So basically, that that there are very standard procedure that we can replace every variable with uh, intervals and uh, execute all the operations uh, through the interval arithmetic, and also compute the range of uh, standard function. So that is very simple. Uh, for interval. So we have the initial box, then we uh, go through this function, we get another box. Uh, so basically that is the interval computation. Uh, uh, but based on this interval computation, we have two uh, observations. So the interval 
uh, set propagation, usually we use the lateral inclusion function, uh, used for interval. Uh, they will uh, generate some wrapping effect. So uh, for this example, for example, this is a nonlinear system. We have uncertain parameters and uh, we can have an initial uh, state. Uh, we use this box. So if we divided this box, we can say that we can reduce the wrapping effect slightly. Like the red box is from this small box. The big one is from the overall box. So uh, that means uh, partition is good for reducing the wrap wrapping effect. So this is the one observation based on uh, interval analysis. Uh, the other op opposition is that if we represent this red box or a green box by uh, solar tubes, uh, so we use solar tube for the set propagation for this uh, nonlinear discrete time system. We found that the wrapping effect is also uh, reduced. Uh, you can see, especially the second step. So the red one is uh, propagate uh, solar tube. I use the format of solar tube. Uh, so solar tube is also use the equation. So you can easily put in the function uh, for, for this uh, propagation. So these uh, two observations will uh, uh, like uh, initialize the following work uh, that uh, we, we will explain later. So basically small set, smaller set is good for set computation or set propagation. And also, uh, uh, the wrapping effect can be reduced by using solar tubes. I think that's the main reason that the solar tubes uh, become like a, a popular uh, topic uh, in the literature in recent years. Okay, so let's move on to the solar tube uh, geometry. So as I explained, the solar tube is a special type of pony tube that can be represented by a equality equation. So you still have the equality equation, but it's related to interval because you have unitary intervals to define a, a, a solar tube. So this is the center of the solar tube. So this is the nine generator. So uh, that will generate a solar tube. So I give an example. For example, this is the center zero one. So this is the edge. Edge is a matrix, like two multiply three. So this is the box, like a one dimension, two dimension, third dimension. So the more nine generator you have, the, the more uh, complex your solar tube becomes. So we can say that the uh, uh, solar tube is coming from interval. Uh, it's just the use uh, a center to, to define the center of the solar tube. And also you can uh, see the uh, high dimensional. So it's a very symmetric uh, polytube. So, uh, uh, so that's uh, where the solar tube come from. It's come from a unitary box uh, of interval, uh, but use this special uh, uh, equality equation. Okay, so that is uh, the definition of solar tube uh, for a uh, set representation. And uh, uh, because we know that uh, we can bisect a uh, interval uh, box, uh, a solar tube can also be bisect. So if you have this uh, solar tube, you can uh, use uh, find the biggest nine generator and uh, put half there and put the center left, put the center right. So you get two polytopes. Uh, so this the idea was proposed during my PhD study. So at that time, I want to bisect a, 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 a solar tube that we can check the property of this uh, uh, solar tube. So we can end up this kind of bisection. So it's not like box or interval. The bisection is, uh, uh, there are some overlap. So the left one is uh, black, the right one is red. Okay, feel free to interrupt me if you have any question, okay. 
So I, I, uh, I, will, I didn't give the detail. So basically you can bisect a, a solar tube. Uh, the reason I want to bisect a solar tube because I want to check uh, the property of this uh, solar tube. But if a big solar tube, we are not able to check the property because if you get smaller solar tube, you get better reduce the wrapping effect. So that's the initiative to propose how to bisect a solar tube uh, in this paper. I think this, uh, 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 this is the original idea when, we, uh, when I do in my P, uh, like a PhD study. So you can see here, if you uh, propagate this bigger solar tube, you cannot say this is a control environment because the, the next step, this, uh, the set will go over this original uh, solar tube. But, but if you bisect to smaller one, you can find that you can prove that the control environments, which means that every evolution will be inside the original solar tube. So this is a way to design control invariant set. So which means we can use a numeric method uh, to design a control uh, invariant set. Control environment set means you apply your controller, uh, your next uh, uh, step state will be also inside this original set. Uh, so, uh, so because of the idea of bisection a solar tube, we can uh, design and prove that a solar tube is controlled invariant or not. So use this method, I designed a, like this, uh, the yellow one is the control invariant uh, solar tube. Uh, this red one is from the literature. They usually use ellipsoid to design the control invariant uh, set. You can see that the, the solar tube is much bigger than the, the, uh, the design, the, uh, the, poly, poly, the ellipsoid control environment set. So that will be good for the control because once you enter this uh, 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 control environment set, you will keep there, your system will be stable. So that is uh, a control environment set. Uh, especially in model predictive control, we use it as a terminal uh, set. So once you enter this terminal set, uh, you are safe. So, so that is just the idea how to use uh, the idea from interval, like a bisection. Uh, we propose bisection a, a, a solar tube that then we can uh, prove that, like this figure, prove that every small bisect solar tube is also within the initial uh, solar tube. Okay, um, if you use interval, because there will be always some like uh, uncertain error because you keep the edge uh, not intact. So that's why we cannot use interval to prove that this set is control uh, invariant or not. Okay, so that is the idea. Uh, uh, to bisect a solar tube. And solar tube propagation uh, uh, for a nonlinear system. So here I'm only talking about nonlinear system because for linear system, they will be uh, different. Uh, so you can use uh, the centered enclosing function uh, through the mean value zero. So I think this idea is from, initially is from uh, another a researcher from German, uh, Germany, Kuhn. He uh, proposed to use the solar tube to replace interval. So you, your input is a solar tube. And you use the mean value theorem. You get the center value and, uh, and then you, you do some mathematical calculation. Then this will end up to be another solar tube. Uh, so that is the main idea for uh, solar tube uh, propagation. So you input for a nonlinear system, you input a solar tube, uh, you get another solar tube. But this solar tube is more complex. It, it means you have more edges. The edges will get 
uh, uh, get uh, get uh, like uh, uh, more and more edges. So so that is uh, another maybe disadvantage for solar turbo. You always end up with more uh, edges. Anyway, this is the idea to propagate a solar tube for a nonlinear system. And uh, uh, I here I give another example for this nonlinear system. If you set, say your initial set is an interval, or you can represent it as a solar tube, you can say they are the same. Uh, it's just the one is represented by interval, one is represented by a solar tube we can compare the propagation. Uh, you can say that uh, solar tube indeed reduce the wrapping effect, especially for multiple steps. So the box is uh, use a lateral inclusion function. Uh, the yellow one is using the solar tube, use the centered inclusion function. Uh, you, but the, the box is the same. But the solar tube get more edges here, uh, so that's uh, that's uh, need to be because it get more complex, more complex uh, along the propagation. Okay, so that is the main idea in the uh, solar tube: uh, how to represent the solar tube, how we can partition a solar tube, how we can propagate a solar tube. Uh, now we move on to the uh, polytube uh, set representation. Because uh, interval or solar tube, they are special shape. Uh, so uh, the polytube is the most uh, like general shape. The problem is uh, polytube is represented by linear inequality constraint or the vertices of, uh, of the polytube. So it's not like an interval or solar tube. You can easily represent it by uh, uh, equality. Uh, so that is a disadvantage for polytube. Uh, but some people uh, propose uh, that uh, uh, like a constraint solar tube. So basically the idea of constraint uh, solar tube is, is used like a linear like an equation. The, the, this part, the, the first part is, is still a, poly, a solar tube, but the unitary box, you constrain that. You say you cannot take any value in this uni, uh, unitary box. You, you put some constraint. So this is from this paper, uh, uh, the, the idea uh, constraint uh, solar tube. So basically the first part is a solar tube. You can see the first part is a solid tube, but they put extra constraint. The constraint will uh, say that you only uh, choose the value from this uh, plane rather than the whole unitary box. So that uh, theta one, theta two, theta three, you only choose the value from this triangle. So that's why you end up with a polytube is the triangle here. The original uh, solar tube is like this, but because you constrained the unitary box, you end up with a, a, a triangle. Uh, in this paper, they said that a polytube can, a, a, any polytube can be represented by the constrained solar tube, uh, but I'm yet to find an algorithm that can do that. Uh, so, but for these uh, uh, triangles, I can I can do that uh, represented by a constraint solar tube because this is more simple case. But for a general pony tube, uh, it's not easy to represent by a constraint solar tube. Uh, the idea is to take down advantage of this equality uh, equation rather than the uh, the general uh, pony tube is like the inequality uh, uh, equation. Okay, this, this is the constraint uh, solar tube. And the partition uh, or a polytube, we can use the uh, Chebyshev center or through Denali triangulation. So I will explain that later. So we can easily uh, bisect a polytube. Uh, 
the reason we don't use interval to, to bisect a polytube, because you always end up some like boundary. You cannot uh, 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 like a clear cut. So we want to keep all the edge intact. Then we will need to use this kind of uh, partition uh, because we want to prove the set property. Okay, uh, set propagation. So uh, for a nonlinear system, it's not easy to propagate because the, it's not a, a, a equation. It's a linear inequality constraint. I think the still lack of di direct uh, polytypic uh, set propagation mesh for nonlinear system. So the idea is that you have initial polytube, you go through this nonlinear system, you get another polytube. So that is the ideal case. Uh, so that is uh, because because the uh, polytube cannot be represented by a e uh, equation like interval or like solar tube. So we cannot do this directly. And in the literature, uh, a common practice is to approximate the polytube by a single solid tube at first. So you have a, a polytube. You cannot do it directly, but you can represent this polytube by approximate by a single polytube. Once you have this polytube, uh, solid tube, then you can propagate. Uh, but this will uh, introduce over approximation. So that is the, uh, a lot of people do this kind of research, uh, how to reduce this, uh, like uh, optimize this uh, bounding uh, single sort of so. Uh, okay, so that is one idea of uh, set propagation for polytope. Uh, Another idea that uh, is uh, is to represent the polytube exactly by the intersection of solid tube or solid tube bundle. Then you can propagate this uh, polytube indirectly. So this idea is proposed uh, by one of my research. Uh, so basically, this is the initial state is a polytube. You cannot propagate it directly, but you can use two polytube. Uh, the intersection of them to get this uh, polytube, then you can uh, uh, propagate this uh, uh, polytube exactly, rather than uh, like this here, there are some uh, over approximation. So you get rid of this over approximation. Uh, there are many ways to, to do this, how to represent. Uh, a polytube by the intersection of the uh, solar tubes. For example, you just get two linear uh, constraint, inequality constraint. You can use this to uh, to to uh, to formulate a solar tube, or you can use a box for every line, like a linear edge. You can uh, build a box. A box is also a, a interval, but it is also a solar tube. Uh, the most uh, simple sort of tube. So there are many ways to do this. And this is from the paper I, uh, I did before, this idea of represent a polytube exactly uh, by the intersection of solid tube. So every step I end up with a polytube and then I represent by uh, like three solid tubes. I, I propagate these three solid tubes and then I end up their intersection will end up a new uh, polytube. So in this way, for a nonlinear system, every state estimation will be a polytube rather than a, po a solar tube uh, uh, or a interval. So that is uh, uh, another work I did uh, before uh, uh, when I was in uh, Plymouth. So, uh, so it basically is just a simple idea to represent a polytube by the intersection of solid tube. And uh, uh, when, when the Professor Luke Johnny uh, visited me uh, at Plymouth, uh, uh, he proposed a question, can a polytube be represented by the union of solid tube instead? 
So this is like the question we were, uh, I will answer later. So we did some work, following work uh, uh, for this, uh, because here is by the intersection. So we are use the uni union of solid tube as well. And also you can uh, propagate a, a solid tube by using constraint solid tube. Uh, that way you can uh, indirectly implement uh, polytope propagation. Uh, but the idea is how to represent any general sol polytope by a constraint uh, solid tube. If you can do that, then you can propagate this uh, constraint uh, solid tube. Uh, this is another idea. Uh, uh, but we can see there is a triangle here can be represented by this uh, constraint uh, solid, solid tube. So another question is, can a polytube be partitioned into triangles? Uh, we will answer that question later as well. Uh, so that question will be answered uh, by the recent work I am working uh, with Professor Luke Jonin uh, is about the reducing the rapid effect of we are uh, the only triangulation. So that will answer these two questions. Uh, first is represented by union of uh, solid tube. Second question is, uh, can a polytube be partitioned? So this work uh, uh, is a recent work. So uh, the only triangulation is an important topic uh, in computational geometry. Uh, it generally is provide an efficient way uh, to organize, distribute the data point uh, in a triangle uh, mesh. Uh, it is used widely in computer graphics, uh, terrain representation, uh, finite element an analysis, uh, 3D printing, or this kind of uh, uh, error. But uh, the only triangulations connection to set theoretical method uh, has not recognized or explored thoroughly in the literature in terms of the topic of this uh, seminar, set partition, uh, set representation, and set propagation. So we will uh, uh, just uh, briefly to give, give some idea. Uh, set partition, as we explained, you can use the, just the vertex of the poly, polytope to, to uh, uh, partition a polytope, or you can add the center to add, or you you can you can even add more point to to generate more uh, like uh, smaller uh, triangles. Uh, you can do in multiple dimension. So this is like a basic uh, set set unit will not be a interval or box. It will become a triangle. Uh, so that answer our second question. So definitely a polytube can be a partition in, into triangles. Uh, so then this, any triangle can be represented by, by a constraint uh, uh, like a, a solid tube. So set a representation after the Denali triangulation. So here we have this uh, green triang uh, triangle. We can represent it by a constraint solid tube. Uh, that can be easily done uh, because uh, there are only three uh, vertex. So we can easily represent it by a constraint solid tube. Then we can use constraint solid tube uh, to propagate uh, this set. Or you can represent it by three solid tubes, uh, the union of three. Like the red one is a paranormal tube, is also a solid tube. The blue one is also uh, a solid tube. Uh, the green one is also a solid tube. So that's answer our first question. Uh, uh, a polytube can be represented by a union of solid tube. Uh, but for this special case, okay, for this two dimensional case, uh, this triangle can be represented by three solid tubes. And this can be by, by three, this by three, this by three. So totally, this polytube can be represented by 12 uh, solid tubes, the union of 12. Uh, as, a, as we uh, explained before, smaller set is better for set propagation. So we can propagate these three 
because they are smaller set. If you use the intersection, uh, every set is bigger than the original set. Uh, but we use the union, so every set is smaller than the original set. So maybe we can reduce the wrapping effect because of this smaller set propagation. So here just show an example. Uh, we propagated the red one, we got this red solar tube. We propagated this green one, we get the green solar tube. We propagate the blue one, we get the blue. And then we get the convex, convex hair. So that is the overall. So that is another project uh, uh, different to the original paper of use intersection or solar tube boundaries. So this is uh, uh, like solar tube unions, the union of solar tube. So essentially, you will. Uh, represent the original polytube by many like uh, solar tubes. Like here, there are so many solar tubes. Uh, so it's like an interval, you divide it, but we keep the edge uh, intact. So we use the convex hair, then we can get another uh, the, uh, the set. So, 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 uh, for Delari uh, triangulation, so your basic set unit uh, is uh, extended from interval or box to the triangles. So now your unit is like uh, every triangle you can propagate. So it's like uh, uh, we extended the shape from interval to the triangles. And this paper we just uh, published uh, in computing. Uh, so basically we compare with the previous that are intersection. We found that this new method maybe can reduce the wrapping effect uh, slightly. So maybe there are some, uh, show some promising result that, uh, uh, but I didn't uh, uh, use like constraint solar tube or uh, with other method, but uh, at, at least it's feasible that we divided, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so, so can you see my slides now? Sorry. At the moment, not. Okay, I need to maybe uh, share, sorry. Uh, is that okay? Yep, it's yes. okay now. Oh, thanks, sorry. Uh, it's a bit of... Okay, we are finished almost. So basically it shows some permission of use this approach, union, and also use like a, a, like a, a triangle. We, we, like we, we get this uh, uh, basic set uh, extended from interval uh, to, uh, to triangles. So we can propagate triangle uh, either use uh, like uh, use a constraint solar tube, or we can use uh, a, a union of these three solar tube. Uh, so that is some idea recently we we uh, we, we explored uh, use this method. Okay, so the conclusion is that uh, dielectric triangulation maybe potentially can transform some set theoretic method uh, for successful application to and like uh, control, like set invariants, like design a polytopic set control invariant set. So because previous work, we constrained uh, our uh, terminal set to be a solar tube. So maybe we can extend it that to be a polytube. And also we can uh, do the more accurate state estimation. So basically we can represent the triangle by constraint solar tube design polytopic control environment set, estimate a system state for nonlinear system. And uh, basically you can uh, build a triangle as a basic set unit, like uh, in, similar to interval or box. Okay, thank you very much for this listen. I hope you, uh, you, you, uh, you, honest, you, you, you get something here. Thanks, that, that's the end.
Okay, many thanks, Gian, for your presentation. And uh, I'm pretty sure there will be some questions to your talk. Who wants to start? Luke? Yes, thank you very much, right. uh, Jan, for this uh, very nice talk. So I have a, a small question. First, about uh, the way you you compute uh, uh, using the Wolf, Wolfgang uh, Kuhn uh, method, so it uses the central form. The uh, I would like to know if uh, this, if you have a function for, for instance, for from R n to R n, uh, will your your um, um, the enclosure will be uh, how it would be accurate. And also, I would like to know if the number of edges increases and why it increases. Uh, yeah. Okay. The, 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 maybe the edge increase because the the method the uh, every time they add more uh, like constraint to that. If you have only one function for f from R n to R n, and you have one zonotop, let's say with a given number of edges. And yeah. after, probably, you should be able to keep exactly the same number of edges. But um, here, I am not sure it is what you do. Uh, because the, the mean value, uh, mean center value, uh, they also have some approximation. So they will add a new, the edges were generated by the new, uh, like, a corner of line generator. So every time they add, like, several new line generator. Yeah. Uh, this method, yeah. uh, so, so uh, you have to increase the edge. So that uh, is not like an interval. Uh, OK, OK, but I have the feeling that uh, it should be possible to avoid uh, the, to, to keep the exact the, the same number of edges as soon as you go from Rn to Rn. I have, I have this feeling, but uh, 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 OK, so, so uh, I have. Uh, uh, also, another question. Uh, uh, in your Delaunay triangulation, uh, of course, you, you have a triangle. You have many triangles. You enclose in, uh, by, uh, uh, inside the zonotop, and you apply this formula to uh, the formula from Kuhn, let's say, uh, to, to get an approximation of uh, this uh, zonotop. But don't you think it's possible to compute directly the image of a triangle. Uh, you mean the triangle image of triangle? Uh, yeah, yes. Instead of going through zonotops, directly apply the same method as Kuhn, but to to uh, uh, directly compute to have a formula to uh, to compute the image uh, of a because triangle. Because triangle is a polytube. Uh, uh, is well, if you represent this triangle as a polytube. Yes. You end up with uh, like a linear inequality constraint, so you cannot put directly in your equation. Oh, uh, okay, 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 uh, okay. And I have a, a last question, if possible, is uh, where do you use in your Delaunay triangulation the fact the fact the concept you 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 have shown of constraints the not up? Do you use it or or not uh, in your application you have showed at the end? Uh, I didn't uh, use any constraint uh, like uh, uh, Delaunay uh, triangulation. That yeah. constraint uh, Delaunay uh, uh, triangulation is mainly used for past planning. For okay. example, you have obstacle, you okay. will add uh, some like a uh, hollow, uh, like like circle to avoid. Oh, okay, Bec because if you have a nonlinear function f, I think that the uh, the notion if you have a zonotop. Uh, the image of uh, the notop will not be a, uh, of constraints on the top. If f is non linear, you will have some volume inside. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you understand what I mean, because in your application where you have a, uh, to evaluate by a function f uh, from Rn to Rn, I think that you, the concept of constraints on the notop will not be useful in this case, maybe. Oh, uh, you mean constraint the solar top? Yes, constraints on the top, yes, constraints on the top, yes. Okay, so this is a new concept by other researchers. So uh, uh, the equation part, the second part is to constrain what point you use to, to generate this. Oh. Uh, so you, you are not using the whole box point. 
uh, uh, you are using only part of the, that, but that can be inherited for the new, the next step. Uh, okay, okay. So thank you very much. Uh, I have finished with my question. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe we can discuss more if you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Do we have any further questions? Yeah. In fact, I have a question. Uh, how did you implement uh, those techniques at the end? Um, did you use some, for example, MATLAB toolbox like the Cora toolbox by Matthias Althoff that you extended in order to uh, perform your evaluations, or is this completely self-built? Uh, no, no, I use a lot of uh, like uh, toolbox. For example, uh, for any coding related to uh, interval, I will use Interlab uh, from German uh, uh, from. Uh, you know, uh, Interlab. Yes, uh, the Interlab toolbox developed by Siegfried Rom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from yeah. Uh, uh, I bought this license, so for any like interval based code, I, I will use that toolbox. For any polytope related, I will use uh, MPT, uh, multiple parameter toolbox from uh, ETH. Uh, it's called MPT. Uh, and the rest is, uh, I, I just write some interface, like how to convert a polytope to uh, be a poly, uh, solid tube. So the rest is just some in, interf interfacing code that I can uh, like uh, uh, go from one uh, toolbox to the other, uh, use the format. So I, okay. I have some own code, uh, just the interfacing uh, or just the basic needs. But the main code is from Interlab and MPT and MATLAB. <laughs> uh, uh, MATLAB also have a lot of uh, function. Okay, I see. Uh, yes, may, maybe it uh, makes sense to have a look also at the Cora toolbox by Matthias Althoff, especially since he's offering such options like, for example, generating uh, over approximations of the intersections of sonotopes. Uh, also, yes, find sonotopic enclosures for the hull over sonotopes. Okay, okay. Okay, do we have any further questions from the audience? If so, then please unmute yourself. If this isn't the case, then again, many thanks for your presentation. And yes, it was definitely very interesting, especially uh, yes, the concept on how to subdivide polytopic domains. I think that's really a helpful approach also for future research activities. And yeah, from that point of view, thanks also to the audience for listening today. And we'll meet each other again very soon for the next online seminar. And as I just mentioned at the beginning of today's talk, uh, after the Easter holidays, we'll shift our time slot. We will have the seminars on Monday at 10.30 uh, Central European time. You'll get the corresponding invitations and by emails. Okay, bye. Have a nice weekend. Okay, thank you very much for coming. Thanks a lot. Uh, okay. Please feel free to email me if you have any question or uh, I will send you updated PPT. <laughs> okay, many thanks. Thank you. Uh, Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.